Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm gonna paint a barn with some chickens. The reference photo is linked below in this video's description. I found this on pixabay.com. It's a nice, simple photo. I like the road. And in Photoshop, I messed with it. The lines for the door that I put in the shadow side of the barn need to be straightened. And then those chickens I just drew with a mouse. And it really, they're white with a blue shadow, red blob, and then a dark cast shadow on the ground. And they look like chickens. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I'm getting better at simplifying. And you don't have to. You can paint details. But like here I am. Um, I'm going to show you the tree. I simplified the tree a bit in Photoshop to help me see it better when I'm painting. Because sometimes when I'm painting, I get lost in the details. The details can be fun. So there's the, I cropped the photo square in Photoshop. I've got a 12 inch by 12 inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. It's an inch and a half thick. I put clear gesso on it days ago because I thought I was going to start this sooner. To show you what it looks like. I did print out my mock-up from Photoshop to scale so I can trace it on. It's just quicker. I could draw it. This is a simple painting. Um, but I also estimated about where the tree line is. And so I drew a line with a white charcoal pencil. It's, um, you can't even read it anymore. It's a general's charcoal pencil. Whoops. <laughs> That's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to use primary colors. Thalo Blue Green Shade, it, they're all liquid text. Thalo Blue Green Shade's a heavy body. Uh, Cad Yellow Medium Hue, Quinacridone Magenta, Titanium White, and Mars Black. Okay guys, I think this is gonna be really fun. Let's set the table. I'll show you my palette. The sky is a combination of phthalo blue green shade, titanium white, and a little Mars black. It still looks quite blue. It looks to me like a fall sky, almost a little aqua. Um, I like that. I like that combination. The black mutes it down just a little bit. I used a one inch flat brush from Blick Art Materials. It came in a pack of three brushes, really inexpensive. Uh, hang on guys, I'll be right back. Okay, I was talking about the brush and my palette. I had a phone call. So I, oh yeah, I know I showed you the cheap one inch brush from from Blick Art Materials. I, I think Michael's, if you have a Michael's near you, a craft store and art store should have a pack of these. I use it for both the sky and the, the ground. I'm pretty sure I talked about that color. So I took a little bit of the blue, a lot of cad yellow, medium hue, a little bit of black, and mixed a green. And I pulled some of that out, made it a little bluer. Uh, I think I also put a more black in it and then white, so I have gray, green, and lighter in the background. And then as it comes forward, it gets darker and warmer. One nice thing that happened, I dried this with a hair dryer. I don't know if you can see it. This will probably be covered by the barn, but that's the best example. That's actually the wood showing through, but it makes a nice little, I don't know, like there's some plants growing there or something. Um, there's a little bit, that one might show, there's a little bit right there. Just a little happy accident. Okay, I'm going to let this dry overnight, which I like because it helps it, oh, I don't know if cure is the right word. It's dry to the touch, but it'll be drier by tomorrow. I'll trace the barn on, um, the tree line, the road, and uh, we'll have, 
we'll have some more fun. Okay, guys, back in a bit. Hey, let's chat a minute about what I'm thinking. I don't think it's been that long when I time-lapse that last section, but this might, I might be on the right, I, well, I'm on the right track, but it might not be um, correct yet. Okay, so I put in, used a little 3 8 inch angle brush from Royal and Langnickel. It's an old one, <laughs> I, I use it a lot. And just up and down, first I put in just pretty much this blue-green color and some of this a little bit warmer green color, some black, some brown. And just up and down, I think pretty much is in the beginning, you can go back and slow down the time lapse. It was pretty much green and then got blue-green. And then I put in, at some point I put in almost black. So like, ooh, let's, you know, get some contrast. And I thought, oh shoot, this area this side of the barn is my darkest dark, maybe right down here in the shadow. And so in order to push this back, I came back with a little bit of white. This could be a building, that little orange. I could even reinforce it a little more. I might make it, or it could just be what, we don't know what it is. Just a little something of interest, because I have chicken, 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 and then that this road will pull you back. And this might pull you back too. This tree, I haven't talked about that yet, works like a stop a little bit, kind of keeping you from going, going really strong this way out of the painting. It should help. And then I put out some matte medium, but I really didn't need it. I just used thin white to just emphasize some clouds. I might, they've dried down just a little bit. I might put, I don't think it needs it though. And then how did I know that those trees should be lighter? Well, they're, they're, these trees are further back in the background, but my reference photo, I was looking at it and I'm like, oh, those trees are lighter. Okay, I just wanna come in or pop in and comment in case uh, jumping back in here quick helps. I'll be back in a bit. Let's chat for a minute. I'm going to stop here for this evening. It just popped into, popped into my head. How long have I been working on this painting? Um, maybe six hours today. <laughs> I laugh because when it's looser and simple, it doesn't look like six hours of work. Okay, um, let's start here on the left side. I did lighten up and make more simple the lighter areas of the tree, fewer leaf dots, more just shapes. I like that. Um, I've played, I had, I did have some vertical darker lines down here. I, I ended up going all horizontal because it was the only place I had the verticals. Didn't make so much sense. I did dark, I think since I've talked to you, I darkened this. I've been playing with lightening the road, but I don't want it too, because I'm going to have the Chickens be white with blue shadows, so I don't want to get it too light. Added glaze some yellow, that's always nice. You can just scrub, here I'll just I'll grab a little bit of yellow. 
Oh, my hand's red. <laughs> Grab a little bit of yellow. And you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I think you can there. Just make it a little bit more yellow. It's so nice that you can do that. I like the subtle changes. You can sneak up on what you want to do. Just put a little more yellow there. Okay, what else? I did end up putting black, straight up black right there. This is a blue black with a little bit of brown that I mixed. So phthalo blue green shade black. And I did throw a little brown in there. I don't know if it made any difference. I think I put a little magenta in it too. And then I was just um, using this little brush. <coughs> Excuse me, it's a number four round. So I can get some skinny up and down strokes. I did paint this blue gray underneath it. So one, so I wouldn't lose the door. And then two, I could just glaze a rusty red brown over it. So that color goes darker and cooler because, it, because of the light blue gray underneath it. What else? I think that's about it. I could put some grasses in the road. I could play with it more, but I really need to get the hen, the chickens in. And one thing that's kind of nice is I can take this white charcoal pencil and I can see that the white's going to work, the white paint. I did draw this one because I lost it. So I put it back in. There's one here. Oh, the other thing I'm doing is basically working back to front, underneath to what's on top. So the sky, and then I just had the greens. Um, oh, I already just said I darkened this because I wanted the road. I could keep lightening the road, but I don't want it white, so I end up just darkening the grass. Um, so sky and the first pass at the ground, you know, this tree line. I have, I, that's like a little building or something right back there. That kind of rusty orange. I like that. I talked about how I think that might help curve you in. Um, so, okay, sky, this tree line, the trees. I did, I did change this after I had the trees in. You can make changes. If you don't work in the exact right order, it'll be totally fine. Um, road grass. Now I'm working on the barn and I'm going to do the barn because this chicken is in front of the barn. So I think the chickens will be last. Acrylics are so, so forgiving. You could do it the other way around. I've done paintings where I don't paint the whole sky. I paint the sky around the image. You can do that too. Okay. There's my palette. I don't know that there's anything to really comment about it. Just mixing colors as I go. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm calling it done. I um I got a phone call. So I put in these little flower dots or whatever they are. Um, and it wasn't videoed, but you can't really see them. I'm going to do a tour anyway so you can see them closer. I like this one. I'm improving. I like, I was trying to keep it simple. I, I, I've done that. I have more, like more detail here and here rather than over here because this is I want to keep you in this area 
Although you go, this is really strong, so you do go over this way. You also kind of stay down in here, too. I don't know what else. I really like the blobby chickens. And because the chickens are simple, I simplified for a while. I think I already talked about this for a while. I had a lot of up and down lines. And I'm like, no, simplify. Keep more detail over here in the shadow, which usually isn't what you do. Usually um, there's more detail in the light. Or at least there's more detail. Sorry, I always, there's no hard, fast rules in art. Um, but usually you have more details in the light. Okay, what else? I think that's about it. I think we just want to do a tour. I did glaze yellow a couple times. Oh, and I did run some brown up here. I saw it in the reference photo. D darkening the grass was definitely good. So I could keep the road a little darker and then the... Gosh, those chickens, the white area and those chickens are at least three coats. Okay, let's just do a tour and maybe try and square it up because the perspective with the barn Oh, it's not. I can never get it square. <laughs> That's not too bad, maybe. Lots of angles with my phone. Okay, so we'll just start here. Maybe back up just a little. And then I'll get even closer. I linked the re oops, I'm a little wiggly. I linked the reference photo in this video's description. If you want to try painting it. There you can see the dots better. I I liked I don't know if I I don't think I need the dots in the flowers, but I like that it brings some blue down into the painting. Help um I don't know, just I think that helps. Sometimes like I would put ground color up into the sky you know maybe some yellows or browns down in there okay let's do a little closer so there's the roof the dramatic lighting is fun I think you can see some of the detail in the shadow now shadow area I like that the boards are almost white and worn where the rain runs down the side of the barn. There's some of the, isn't that fun that those blobby shapes make chickens? I just love that. And a shadow anchors them. I, this might be one of my slower tours. <laughs> hey, you might want to see the tree. So the the orange building or whatever that is off in the distance, I think that's really fun. I'm pretty sure I've talked about that already. And there's the tree. Sorry, I'm so wiggly. It's quite close to my phone. And it does go over onto the side. And maybe you want to see the other side too. The barn goes over. I like... Um, the inch and a half thick. I use canvas or the cradled wood panels. Um, you don't have to frame them if they don't want to. Or they can frame them. And then I've painted around the side. So if part of that shows. Okay, guys. I really like this one. Um, it's, it's good. The more I paint, I don't always see my um, progress. Like I don't see a ton of progress when I'm looking at this painting that I just finished. But when I go back and look, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. And I keep pushing myself to learn new things. Oh, I did make that cloud brighter. I don't know if it makes any difference. Boy, I don't know if you can even see it when, you, when, you're, when I'm pointing to it. But just, you know, more, more strong detail things in this area. Okay, guys. I can't thank you enough for your support. I couldn't do this without all of you. I couldn't be a full-time artist without you. Uh, great big, we got to do this great big, get my hand in here, happy art hugs. And I hope to chat with you soon. Bye guys.